Okay, so I've got my van here. All the Bot Smart van racking has been delivered. So I'm gonna have a quick look through the instructions, familiarize myself with it, and then hopefully we'll get into doing some videos of how I fit it to the van, any tips and tricks, and yeah, just having a, having a bit of fun with it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to attach the box smart frame to the top of the van. Now, if you've got a roof liner like mine has, you have to remove these little pop rivets or plastic fins, so you can pull the pull the roof down slightly. And the idea is we need to get this fixing bracket fitted onto the side of the van, so we've got something to fix our frame to. Now they give you. These adjustable fittings, um, different sizes, but this one's for this pack, and you get the uh, the nut fixed. So what we have to do is try and fish this through into the location, and then bolt that to that, and that gives us a fixing point then, which we put on the top of the arm and fix to that point. Um, yes, I thought the idea of a group like that would be look. This is what we're looking after. It's all done. Now you can see this one's secure. So the whole of this frame now is secure and we're ready to go on to the next step. Okay, with this racking, you get a lot of instructions. They come in a pack. Um, it can be quite daunting, but once you get into it, once you get used to it, they're really good. So I've just fitted this one and then part of the instruction pack was this sheet here and it tells me the module number and then the accessory codes that fit with this. So I've gone to the box, this is how they come, packaged up with a label there, I don't know if you can see it because of the sun, but within that, that's told me that this, this part is, is for this frame, and it also has its own instructions on how to fit that into this, and then you get all the nuts and bolts to do it, brackets, um, it's even got some little plastic caps to fit on the front edge here. Um, and then the good thing about this is you've got so many different um, fixing points, you can fix these shelves to the height that you want to use for whatever your kit is or the accessories you bought to go with it. Um, I think it's really good. So I'm gonna set these shelves up, um, once you've done it, that's not set in stone. You can then change it if you change the way you use kit or you buy some different bits of tools. So this stuff will adapt. Um, if you buy, say you buy a new fit, a new drill or a new fittings box and it don't fit in the height, just pop the fixings out, move it up and down a bit. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed so far. Okay, so fixing kit, you get this nut which is captive inside this plastic housing and these turn into any one of these. You see we're going to use this bottom one here. So you can choose the height that you want to fit your accessory to. Then we've got the um, the bracket there and the bolt. So this is the one I'm using. I'm just going to get that started in there and then just nip that up with my spanner not too tight because I can always change it um, and yeah these are really good fixing kits um, and these are the same for whatever accessory you're fitting and um, they're all the same and you get plenty so um, at the end of the day I'm probably gonna have a lot of spare bits okay so we've fitted our bracket onto the onto the frame it's secured with a nut and bolt through onto the bracket and then we've got two fixings here which go onto the um, onto the captive nuts on the frame, so we just um, knit them up. So that's three securing points there onto the frame, and this ain't going nowhere. Okay, so now I'm going to fit the bulkhead frame. I've already got my um, side frame in. This one fits to this one, um, and a quick look through the instructions. So now I'm doing. This comes as one piece and then all we do is we slide it along and it sort of interlocks together with the one we've already got in and then all we need to do is bolt it together. There's a captive bolt in the frame so we just have to go through here, try not to drop it. So 
so through there into that and then it's a five mil hex key let's get that started at this point i'm not doing everything up too tight because i might need to move things around especially when i'm coming to get the floor in but just get another one of those and there's another fixing point at the bottom here Now, I'm learning now, so I probably should have put this together before I put this bottom drawer in. So I'm gonna whip this out, and then I'll be able to get this fixed. Okay, so I'm just fitting the, um, the bulkhead frame, and the fixing point on this goes actually onto the bulkhead of the van. As you can see this, there's two factory fitted 10 mil nuts there. So you get this piece here, which, believe it or not, lines up exactly with those bolts and that gives me a fixing point from here to here so I'm just going to do that now Okay, so you can see there, I've fixed that to that. It's fixed on those two points of the bulkhead. And it looks quite smart, that does. So I'm at the stage now where I'm going to fit the raised floor. Now, this is the piece you need, one for each side, and then the frame's going to sit on that. The height of this, it tells you in the instructions where to put it, and then I was thinking, maybe I'll make it slightly higher because um, I need to get a van vault in here for my power tools, and you can get the sliding drawer one, which is about 310 mil high. Um, and with the with the shelf height where they wanted it, it was just going to be slightly too small. So I was thinking I'd move this up one fixing to give me a little bit of extra height. But unfortunately, this piece that's going to offer the supports for my shelving um, drawers system obviously fits to that level. So I've, I've had to um, had to put it where I was supposed to put it. Um, I'm going to fit it and then if there's any way of me doing it, maybe um, doing something with this to get the extra height to get a van vault in, I might do that. But um, yeah, so I'm going to um, crack on with this now. I'll um, try and do some filming as I do it. Okay, so I've got the cradle in for the floor. Now, I'm working out where to fit the divider. So, I've got my steps, I've slid them in, and then I've got, well, there's plenty of choices. You can choose wherever you want to put the divider. I bought the accessory pack, so I got these two storage tools. So, with that there, they fit perfectly in. But what I was thinking was, because I've got a bit of room here with the ladders, If I move this over one setting to there, it gives me a bit more room than I need for those. But what I thought is I might fit these two shelves I've got underneath there. So I've got some sort of storage that's tucked away.
Okay, so you can see um, I've got everything in. So the modules, the side modules, the two together, the bulkhead, and then this module here, and the raised platform. Um, I reckon it took me probably took me about four hours to get the lot in, and then. The main um, amount of time for me, now this might be different for, for other people, but deciding where to put these. Now, when you order it, they give you an idea of where things are gonna go and you, you get um, packs. So you order this module and it will come with, I don't know, this set here, two drawers, and they set it out. But the beauty of the bot stuff is you can put it absolutely anywhere you want. So if you want this shelf over here, you can do it. You get enough um, fittings um, to, to change the accessories around. So me being me, it's took me ages to work out the best way I want things. Um, and I've tried to utilize as much space. Like you can see here, I've got these open ones that take my Stanley Fat Max organizers. They also take cordless drill boxes. I've snuck in a uh, little tray under there because I don't want to waste any space. So you can do absolutely anything you want to do. It's dead easy. Like I said before, once you get one in, um, the rest of it's child's play. So. I'll just have a quick look there what I've done. So I've got this recess perfo panel here that was bought as an extra, um, which I'm going to try and put my cables and stuff in. I've got the bot smart storage trays in there, um, and then I've set my drawers up as well. Now I have got a big box full of accessories, so I'm going to have a play around, work out wh what I'm going to do on this this perfo panel at the end with my accessories and then get my kit out of my van and put it in. I might not show you that on this video because this is more about the fitting, the installing of the product, but I'm just letting you know the sort of um, variations and the, the amount of freedom you've got with the stuff. So I don't think to show you down here. So I've got a box full of accessories, first aid kit, um, towel, rail, loads of little loops and hooks. And then in here, we've got all these dividers so I can, when I've worked out what I'm going to do, all those trays you see in the van, you can put dividers in so things don't slide around. But I'll do all that stuff when I actually come to loading my kit into the new van. So now I've got the main um, modules in, um, the heights of the drawers, how I want them. I'll just show you around quickly the things that I think are really good about this. So I mentioned before how it's perfectly scribed. Um, you can see here, the wooden floor and then you get this piece of metal here just which runs flush with the actual van and protects that lip. Um, you can see under here the, where this Euro crate comes to there's a stop there to stop it from sliding out. Plenty of hooks to strap things to. Um, So with any fair review, I'm going to tell you the bad bits. Um, so in the interest of a fair review, I'm just going to let you know, um, this raised panel here, the wood, you don't get an edging strip. So I've um, been to B&Q, bought that. Same for the bottom one there, I bought myself an edging strip for that. Maybe they will um, have a look at that in the future. The main thing, let's show you over here. Let's get in the van. These tubs really love these tubs um, you can see the lines in the middle you can put dividers in there so you've got three sections in each tub if you want them and a little um, band there so you can write on what's in them love them but you can't fit one in there you've got a gap so the six there no five there if they'd have made it so you could get six in would have been perfect it's not the end of the world but it's just a little thing that's annoying to me and I have tried them same in here you can get I think you can get three in free and then there's not enough space there to put another one so maybe they'll look at changing that but that's just one, li one little thing that's worth pointing out if you're a bit of a, a, bit of a perfectionist like me. Okay so I'm going to have a look at some accessories now um, I'm going to use the bulkhead as an example because I've got these four perfo panels here so there's plenty of room to play with but what will happen is when you're ordering this on the website so whether you order a, a side module or the bulkhead on the side modules you get this perfo panelling as well as a sort of end cap and all the accessories can hang off that as well but we'll use this because it's easier now what will happen is when you order this it will give you a suggested 
accessory pack so they'll recommend things to buy in a pack that will go with this but you can also buy each thing individually so you can buy as many or as little as you want so we're just gonna have a little play with this so uh, one of the first ones is the hooks wherever you want just hook it in like that and then you get a little black locking peg push that in give it a twist now that's secured if you change your mind you want to move it give that a quarter turn and it comes out and you can put it somewhere else um, silicon tube holder that just hooks in and then again the black tab and you can lock that into place um, there's loads of different accessories so we've got a hose hose holder first aid kit these little screwdriver or tool holders you can just put anywhere you like clip that kit in and then all the way up to things like a, a blue roll holder so you can pick and choose your accessories play around with it First day using your van, you might put them one way, then you might think, oh, that was a bit weird being over there, I'm gonna move that, you can do it. That's the beauty of this stuff. Some of the other accessories to look at, these are the storage tubs, so you get a clear viewing window at the front, and then you've got removable sections on the inside, so you can either have one big tub made into two or three sections, and they go in on the shelves. Non-slip mats. When you order the trays, you get the correct size for the mat, but you can also get a big sheet and you can cut down, um, custom make your own mats. And then if we can see, we've got these straps as well. So all along the edges, sides, all along here, are anchor points for the straps. So if you've got anything that rolls around or you want to secure in the van, you can just If you can see that, but we've now locked that in and we can strap kit that we don't want moving about the van. Also for your big trays and your little trays you get dividers certain points where you can section them off and um, stop your kit moving around or to to make it into more of an organized tray it's one of the main selling points for this for me the, f the fact that it is so customizable you buy the kit based on your van but then you modify it with accessories and how you position things to suit you so it's a very personal product um, and as I've said any time before, if you buy new kit, change kit, change the way you work, you can change the way the van racking works for you. So, final word, I absolutely love this stuff. The colour, the way it goes together, the simplicity of it. Um, all the variations, uh, it's really good, well-made, sturdy quality stuff. And saying that, it's also lightweight as well. So it's not gonna um, kill, me on the kill me on the fuel. I'm really pleased with the overall look of it. I can't wait to get my kit in it. So um, I hope if you are thinking of getting some van rack in, I have tried, uh, you know. So, So now I'm finished, I am so pleased with what I've got, what I've done. Compared to my old van racking with the ply, um, apart from the expense, I would go for this every time. Now, talking of price, what you need to do is if you go on the website, you can, so say you want to start just with a bulkhead, um, choose that, work out your options with the shelves and stuff, get a price for that, and you could just do that to start with, or you could do this, this just this side, and then save up, do the bulkhead, save up, do this the um, this side, save up, do the floor. You don't have to do it all at the same time, um, depending on your budget. 
but um, go on the website, they can design it for you, you can design it yourself, work out how much it's going to cost, if you can do it all or if you can do it bit by bit. But um, yeah, if you want my opinion, it's really good stuff um, and I'm really pleased that I went for it. So I'm going to stop talking now, put a few pictures up so you can see um, the finished article and I hope this video has been helpful for you and keep an eye out for some more videos I do in the future which will be featured uh, the van racking will be featured in because I do a lot of video reviews from the back of the van. So thanks for watching everyone, uh, as I say I hope it's been helpful and I'll see you around on one of my other videos. Cheers guys!